YouTube and welcome to another vlog. Today I am in Bluebell Paradise here on the Dartmoor National Park. This is Endsworthy Common. It's become a bit of a religion for me to come down here every May because you get these amazing bluebells. This is the second time I have vlogged at the location, um, but the area is renowned for its sweeping fields of bluebells. As you can see all the way to the top of this um, kind of hedgeway wall here and also you have dotted copses of trees and bluebells further on uh, up the hill there towards the road we also have this really cool old barn you've probably seen this location before with me shooting down here uh, like I said in the vlog I did last year and I've also got some cool pictures uh, I took the year before uh, which you might have seen in the past now last year we didn't have great conditions down here we didn't have that many bluebells uh, bluebells for some reason last year um, but this year it's been absolutely amazing it's kind of what we normally expect there's a lot of locations to explore down here so i'm going to try and get a few compositions in with this one so i'm not going to be vlogging too much at, at each location it's more going to be a kind of slideshow snapshot a uh, few images at the end of different compositions i can get i've only probably got about 20 minutes to play down here as well uh, i have to be somewhere a bit later on not going to be doing sunset shots today going to be using kind of the beginning of the golden hour it's around about seven o'clock here so we'll get a bit of nice light in here although it will be a bit too harsh the first shot that i will go through with you um on the camera now is quite a classic shot is one that a lot of people come to i'm stood in a bit of a clearing in the bluebells here so i'm not actually uh, crushing any at all um, and you can get to a lot of the bluebells down at this location as well from these paths that have been created over the years as you can see so you don't have to actually damage anything when you're down here which is what I really like about shooting here now the classic shot involves this barn these trees the sun at the moment is just clipping the top of them now if I had more time I would try and use uh, that sun in a bit of a lower position to probably get some sun bursts I'm not going to really be able to do that today, um, not in the kind of position I'd want the sun anyway, just above the uh, kind of um, barn. But if I do get it to do it today, it will be a bit higher up in the trees, as like I said, I'm not going to be staying here too long. Um, shooting with a polarizer. Now, the polarizers I do find do make bluebells look a bit more purple, so it does kind of affect the colours in them slightly. The reason why I'm shooting it is I want to try and get all the natural colours out of the green i want a lot of vibrancy in the green and the trees and i don't want to get any reflections on this red roof here um, or any of the stonework so i'm using a polarizer to cut that back although granted it won't work very well in this situation because the sun is probably at the wrong kind of angle to be shooting it if it was a bit further around to our left uh, coming in a bit more of a direct angle towards the barn it probably would make quite a bit of difference i'm also shooting with a soft grad a 0.9 lee soft grad filter pulled down just to bring some uh, definition in the sky reduce those colors we do have a few clouds up here today which i'll pan you up so you can see um, so it will be nice to get them in the picture as well um, simple shots i've got the camera on the tripod here to make it really steady and i've made sure that the stabilizer is off now i'm shooting at an iso 50 here uh, it's probably a bit low to be honest there's no reason i need to shoot at that iso and we do have a bit of wind so i'm just going to raise it up to probably 200 now um, it is quite a dark image and i'm also going to bring the uh, f-stop from 14 down to 11 and that has given me a fourth of a second so it is actually really dark for some reason um, just showing you that even though it is an hour and a half before sunset we do have a lot of um uh, darkness just because I'm sheltered behind these trees here now there is a lot of photographers down here as well and you probably see some walking down the wall behind me about to to join me so I'm going to get this shot fired off ISO 200 f11 that's a fourth of a second I might adjust my settings slightly down maybe got to ISO 400 just to try and free some of these trees that are blown around the wind I'll crack on I'll get a few more compositions a few more set up I'll do a bit of vlogging that you can uh, see on top of this one and I'll catch up with you in a minute once I've got a few more shots in the bag
finished all the shots at the location now. Now the eagle-eyed view will probably notice that um, I'm in different attire. It's actually about 10 days later uh, than I was at the location when I did the, the vlog for the area. Um, I didn't have time really to finish off that video, so I've popped up to the location again today. Now, I'm not going to be taking any pictures while I'm here. I've just come up because I wanted to have a scout around, have a little walk up here in my lunch break and just have a look at the bluebells. Um, I was happy of the shots I got uh, in the vlog um, when I was up here about a week ago. I think they've come out quite nicely. It's one of those locations that I could really spend all day walking around it um, but I never really give myself enough time up here which is a shame because uh, locations like this they don't last forever you have a finite time where you can shoot these bluebells and they are starting to kind of lose their grip now we generally get between say a week to two or two weeks to four weeks uh, of shootable conditions every year when the bluebells come up now they are really nice this year and they're really thick and full blooms. They are actually holding on quite well. But we do already have a few that are starting to wilt. They're starting to lose their best and unfortunately they're getting towards the point at some point probably over the next week or two they will start kind of all wilting and dying off. Like I say it's been a good year for it and there is still quite a lot up here that you can uh, shoot and some nice blue bells. I'm slightly higher than I was last time. Uh, you saw me, the barn is all the way down here behind these trees and I'm actually up in the meadowy kind of orchard part of um, Emsworthy Mire, Emsworthy Common which has all these really nice kind of um, apple and pear trees and stuff like that, ones that are in blossom quite a lot at the moment. Um, it's just to say basically, I wanted to finish this vlog uh, off with me actually at the location just to say that locations like this they don't last forever you do need to get out with your camera and try and capture them and i did say um when i was up here last week that i would be trying to get back to the location and do some shots and i haven't actually managed that um and that's only my own fault really basically i've shot here a few times over the years it's an amazing place but i have prioritized going away in the van to other locations rather than spending time up here which is a shame um I think there's enough light that I could potentially come up some point over the next few days to get some more images. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that, to be honest. I think for this year, this probably is the location done for me. Um, but I'm just saying that, you know, make sure if when the chance comes to shoot places like this, you do actually get out and shoot them because they don't last forever. They don't hang around forever. And at some point over the next couple of weeks, these bluebells will unfortunately be dying off. They will be gone and there won't be... Uh, much left to shoot here. Um, you can't see so many of them where I am now because I am in a more uh, sheltered part and uh, you don't really get so much bluebells at this point. But it is midday and there's quite a lot of families down there enjoying them. I don't want to go down to kind of filming amongst them so I've stayed a bit higher. I'm not too fussed because I'm up by these nice trees but um, nice to get back to the location and just see how those the last week since I've been has affected them and just to say that they probably will be dying off in a few weeks unfortunately um, so yeah get out when you can get out of that camera make sure you get these locations before they disappear um, and you're never guaranteed year upon year how well they're going to come back so in all honesty I should have made more attempts to get up here should have potentially shot the area better simply because um, it will be uh, another good year uh, before they come back and even then they might not come back very well depending on the, the weather we have. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope it inspires you to get up here and get out and shoot some bluebells. Um, although like I say it probably will be next year now. Um, they're lovely things to photograph. Next year I'm going to make a conscious effort to try and photograph some in woods. Something which I've not really done that successfully yet. Um, see how that goes so i'm going to be scouting some locations if any of you watching know any of any decent locations uh, in devon and cornwall for woodland uh, bluebell photography please let me know in the comments got a few vlogs coming up now with me in dorset at durdle's door um, and portland bill and a few other locations coming up so hope you enjoy those in the future hope you've enjoyed this one i'll catch up with you in the future vlogs coming up